Senator Lincoln, you called them both bad ideas. Why is that? And Congressman Bozeman, there's some uncertainty about the extent to which you specifically support those matters. Could you all take a shot at those two issues and answers to one question? Well, I think they are bad ideas. I think the privatization of, of Social Security and Medicare are, are very dangerous. These are programs that exhibit the values of who we are as Americans and as Arkansans. They're vital programs to um, uh, uh, my parents and, and, and other people's parents. There's no doubt that in this current economic crisis that we've experienced, had Social Security been privatized, it would have been devastated and so would Medicare. Um, there is no doubt that, that the congressman has supported these initiatives um, in, in the past. He supported President Bush in his attempts. Um, I voted against it at least four times, um, and I have supported the strengthening of Social Security at least 20 times. Um, I think these are critical um, programs, and I think they represent values of who we are, and I think we need to work hard to protect them. The 23% sales tax is just a bad idea for Arkansans. Um, it is replacing your federal income tax with a 23% consumption tax on anything you purchase. Anything from your bread to your tires to your home to your car. It eliminates the mortgage interest deduction. It eliminates your college tuition deduction. Um, it raises the cost of purchasing a home by 30%. Um, it's not just me. Um, the economic advisors to former President Reagan and President Bush also say that it is a bad idea. Um, it doesn't replace your taxes on your state income tax, your state sales tax, local sales tax, county sales tax, uh, your um, uh, excise tax, your property tax. You're still going to pay all of those taxes. You're just going to put on top of that a 23% on everything you purchase. And for hardworking Arkansas families, that is going to be devastating. And it's only going to benefit the wealthy. All of the, um, all of the um, examples have shown us that. Congressman, I'll give you a, an additional 15, 20 seconds. Well, let me do this, John, because those are two very separate questions, and they really are very important, and there's been a lot of talk. So let me address uh, Social Security first, and I'll come back on, on the other. But, uh, as far as Social Security, my mom is 88 years old. She'll be 89 in, uh, in November. And I understand how important that Social Security is to her and her friends. And I really resent every, every two years, in, in Senator Lincoln's case, every six years now, the same old playbook is pulled, pulled out. The Republicans are going to strip seniors of their Social Security. It's sad because, again, they're sitting there listening to all this. Now, and I've said this before, over my dead body, are we going to cut benefits to those that are retired or anywhere near retired? That's a contract that we've made with them. Uh, it's sacrosanct. I understand unlike lots of politicians in Washington, this is actually your money that you're, you're putting up there for later use. Now, we've got a problem for our children and grandchildren. If we don't do something in about the year 2039, something's going to give, and they're only going to get 75% of their benefit. The question is, how do you solve that problem? Uh, do you increase taxes? Do you increase the, the age of retirement? When Social Security was put in, it was a great government deal. Uh, the death rate was at, at 63, I believe. You didn't get it till you were 65. And so it's something that we've got to look at. Now, the looking at, should we allow our children and grandchildren to set aside a, a small portion, portion in personal accounts that they own to try and go, grow the pot? I think that's something that we need to look at. Uh, I think we need to throw everything out on the table. And instead of demagoguing this, and making it an issue that, that is difficult to solve because of the demagoguery, we need to solve the problem. And Senator Lincoln has not bothered to tell us how she would do it. Congressman, can you answer the second half of the question in your rebuttal? Yes. Okay. Senator? Well, I would just simply say um, this is not a playbook issue. This is not a Democratic issue. This is an Arkansas issue. And I'm standing up for what's important for Arkansas. My mom's 81. Um, and I do it for her, but I do it for every other Arkansan out there, too. And I think it's so important to realize that almost all economists tell us that if you privatize Social Security, it's going to take a major hit. Um, it would have taken it in this economic crisis, and it's going to take a hit. The congressman has supported that. He has supported that. I'm not trying to do anything with playbooks or anything else. I'm just trying to put, point out that there are real choices to be made here and there are very real differences. 
One of the best ways to create greater solvency for the Social Security Trust Fund is to create jobs. More people working is going to put more money into the Social Security Trust Fund and keep it solvent longer. I think that's a great opportunity. And I look at any of the solutions that we may have to even strengthen Social Security more. Um, but I think we have to realize that privatizing it is going to take a real hit. Current and future beneficiaries cannot survive if it is privatized, and the economists have told us that. Congressman Bozeman? Well, as I said earlier, again, there's no way that we're cutting benefits on, on seniors, retired, about to retire, or whatever. The greatest thing we can do for Social Security is to quit spending the Social Security Trust Fund. And this administration, this Congress, is doing that like no other Congress in history. Seniors have figured out that if this president bankrupts the country, there is no money for Social Security and there is no money for Medicare. Um, regarding the fair tax, I'm excited about looking at the fair tax. Uh, I'm excited about getting rid of the IRS. The IRS has more agents right now than CIA and FBI agents combined. And thanks to Senator Lincoln's health care bill, they're going to add 16,500 more IRS agents to make sure that you're doing what you're supposed to do. So that bill, and it's obvious that Senator Lincoln has not read the bill, that will, bill would make it such that you would eliminate all the federal taxes. It would give a prebate back so that those in poverty, you would not be paying for your, uh, the basic amenities. No one would. And, and again, I think it's something that needs to be looked at and uh, is a workable solution. And it should be go gone forward with hearings. And